Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, share the geologic map of Pennsylvania with you. So you'll be using this in uh, some of your activities in this dinosaur class. Uh, the first one that you'll use it for is the rock lab. And um, in the rock lab, you're going to be examining this map to determine what types of rocks are in Pennsylvania and where they are located. Now, um, this map was produced by the DCNR, which is the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources uh, in Pennsylvania. So this map uh, separates the state into all of the counties, and it also separates the state into the rocks by their ages. So the ages, the groups of the ages are um, geologic time periods and they are listed along the bottom edge of the map. So the uh, oldest geologic time period on the map is Precambrian, and then uh, Lower Paleozoic, and then, uh, then Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Mississippian, Pennsylvanian, Permian, Jurassic and Triassic, tertiary and quaternary. Um, there's one that's missing and that's Cretaceous and there's a little note down here in the bottom that says Cretaceous rocks, which are present in small areas of Southern Montgomery County cannot be shown at the scale on this map. So uh, Southern Montgomery County, this is Montgomery County. So there's some Cretaceous rock in this region, but because of the map size, um, they could not put it on there because uh, it wouldn't even show up on the map. There's so little of it. Um, so um, of these time periods, the lower Paleozoic uh, is a combination of Ordovician and Cambrian. So if you forget that, all you have to do is look at the numerical uh, values of each time period that's located there. The lower Paleozoic runs from 443 to 570 million years ago. And our Ordovician is 443 to 490 million years ago. And Cambrian is 490 to 570 million years ago. Um, you'll see with all of the geologic time periods that are listed there, there's a numerical value for the dates of each time period. All right, so just a little review of what the time periods represent. From the lower Paleozoic, to the Permian is the Paleozoic era. That was before the dinosaurs. The Jurassic and Triassic and the Cretaceous are the Mesozoic. That's when the dinosaurs were here. And the Tertiary and the Quaternary are after the dinosaurs. Um, so that just gives you an idea of what the ages are of the rocks. So what does that mean, the ages of the rocks? Well, those are the ages that the rocks formed in. So if it's a Cambrian rock, it formed in the Cambrian period. If it's a Jurassic and Triassic rock, it formed in the Jurassic and the Triassic. So um, dinosaurs and fossils of other organisms can be found in the rocks that formed when they existed on Earth. So if you're going to look for dinosaurs, dinosaur fossils in Pennsylvania, the only places you'd be able to find them are in the Jurassic, Triassic, and Cretaceous rocks. You're not going to find them in any of other period rocks because those rocks either formed before the dinosaurs or formed after the dinosaurs. So the only places that you can go to find dinosaurs in Pennsylvania are the Jurassic and the Triassic rocks. So if we look for that pattern on the map, that's the green with the red. So that's this region here. So these are the only places where dinosaur fossils can potentially be found in Pennsylvania, along with that region of Cretaceous rock uh, that's not shown on the map in Montgomery County. All right, so what about the rock types? So below each, um, period name and the timeline, there's a list of rocks. 
Um, there's words that are in um, normal text, and there's words below that that are in italics text. The italics text tells you, gives you materials that are mined from those regions. Um, the rocks that are present are the um, are the the normal text. So some of the materials are the same from the uh, mined material and the material that's in each county, but not all materials are mined. So there's a separate list for that. Um, okay, so um, if we take a look, you can just some things you can do. You need to be able to see different parts of the map. So you can push the zoom in key to uh, zoom into different regions so you can read what's uh, beneath in the key a little better. You can zoom in. You can move around the map like so using the bars uh, to see the different regions as well. Um, the colors represent different rock um, time periods. So let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see the region that um, Shippensburg is in. So there aren't any towns listed on the map, but county names are. So you kind of have to know a little bit about where Shippensburg is. And Shippensburg's located on the boundary between Franklin and Cumberland County. So this is the boundary between Franklin and Cumberland County, and Shippensburg's located about here in the pink region of um, that boundary. So the pink region represents Ordovician rock. So Ordovician rock is 443 to 490 million years old. So that's when it formed. 443 million to 490 million years ago is when the rock that uh, the surface rock of Shippensburg is located at. So the rocks that are present in the pink Ordovician region are shale, limestone, dolomite, and sandstone. And things that are typically mined in this Ordovician rock or from this Ordovician rock are slate, limestone, zinc, and clay. Now, um, the patterns of Franklin and Cumberland County, and I'm gonna go up here a little bit more so that's more centered. Um, you have uh, where Shippensburg is at the pink Ordovician. To the east of us, there is orange, the orange pattern and that is Cambrian rock. To the west of Shippensburg is the purple pattern, and that is um, Silurian rock. And then to the west of that, you have some more Ordovician uh, in some regions, some more Silurian, and then we get to some Devonian rock. And there's a little bit of Devonian rock down here in Franklin County. Now, if you have trouble seeing the actual boundaries of our counties of Franklin and Cumberland County, it's pretty easy to see that boundary on the western or the eastern edge of the counties, but it's a little more difficult on the western edge. And uh, what I've done and what you can easily do is just Google county map of Pennsylvania. So something like this, so you can see where exactly the boundaries are. So the boundary the it's kind of the northwestern boundary of Cumberland County uh, it has this weird shape to it and then uh, Franklin County this part has this weird shape to it um, so if we go back to our geologic map that weird shape is actually the boundary of the Ordovician rock here and here it's the boundary of the Ordovician rock with the exception of right there but for the rest of the county, it's not as difficult to see the boundaries. Um, okay, so uh, in the lab, the, the rock lab, which is where you're going to use this map first, you're going to be asked to identify um, the regions of Pennsylvania that contain different rock types. And you're going to use this down here. Now, the questions in the lab are going to ask you things about where do you find the sedimentary rock? Where do you find the igneous rock? Where do you find the um, metamorphic rock? So I just want to just do a little peek uh, at the actual activity. So um, when you pull up the activity, there's the link for the map that I just showed you. And then uh, the first section is on igneous rocks. It says igneous rocks in Pennsylvania. Igneous rocks in Pennsylvania include granite, anorthosite, and diabase. Where can igneous rocks be found in Pennsylvania? 
So there's your choices. So what you need to do is you need to go to your map and you need to use the key and look for those rock types. You need to look for granite. There's some granite in the Precambrian rock. You need to look for anthracite, and you need to look for diabase. Um, now this says meta diabase. Any of the rock types that include the word meta is a metamorphic rock, not a, an igneous rock. So meta diabase is rock that used to be diabase that's been, that's been metamorphosed enough that it, it is no longer called diabase, but it's called meta diabase. So it's been slightly metamorphosed. So that is a metamorphic rock. So we're not going to say diabase is there. Diabase is somewhere else. So we're looking for anthracite. There's the anthracite. So we still haven't found the diabase. That's the igneous rock. So we're going to look at this one, meta igneous, schist, gneiss, quartzite, serpentine, slate. Nope, not there. Limestone, dolomite, sandstone, shale, quartzite, phyllite, not there. Shale, limestone, dolomite, sandstone, not there. Sandstone, conglomerate, shale, limestone, nope. Sandstone, gray, shale, black shale, limestone, chert, nope. Sandstone, shale, limestone, nope. And we keep going, more sandstone, shale, conglomerate, nope. And we just keep going and going until we find it, and it's actually right here, diabase. So we have diabase in the Jurassic and Triassic rock. And we have uh, granite and anthracite in the Precambrian rock. So uh, that's that uh, olive green pattern and then our green and red pattern. We already know the green and red pattern is this one. I pointed it out earlier. <clears throat> Here is the olive, uh, olive uh, the drab olive pattern. Okay, so those are the regions. And then if we go back to our activity, we have Southwest, Southeast, and North Century. That is Southeast, so that's what we're gonna click. And then the next question is, how old are the igneous rocks? So to answer a question like that, you're gonna have to go down here. So we've got Precambrian, older than 750 million years, and our um, Jurassic and Triassic is between 144 and 248 million years. So we go back there and we look for that. No, it's right here, this last one, click. And what periods did the igneous rocks form in? So those were, again, the Jurassic and Triassic pattern, Jurassic and Triassic, and the Precambrian pattern. So back to our activity, um, right there, click. And then, um, then you're gonna answer the remaining questions in that section. And then you're gonna go on to the sedimentary rocks questions, and then to the metamorphic rock questions, and then submit, and you are done. And that is the activity and using the geologic map of Pennsylvania to do that activity. And that is all I'm going to share with you today on this topic. We'll be using the map again in other activities as well. And that is it. Everybody have a good day.